Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. So before I review Sweeney Todd, my guest star, Jackson Fulcher, is going to be reviewing this film, as well as give you the overall plot synopsis of the film. So Jackson Fulcher, take it away. Hello everybody on the 22 Tiger Dude YouTube channel. My name is Jackson Fulcher and I'm here to collaborate with Tony once again. We've collaborated quite a few times and those times were pretty awesome. So now it's time to collaborate on another Halloween review. This one being for Tim Burton's Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. This movie's about a barber named Benjamin Barker played by Johnny Depp and he's married and he has a young daughter about a baby and life's going well for him until a judge named Judge Turpin played by Alan Rickman falls in love with his wife and tries to send Johnny at packing by wrongly accusing him of a crime. But then several years later, being locked away, Benjamin Barker comes back, but this time under the alias of Sweeney Todd. And believe it or not, he's pretty pissed at Judge Turpin for doing that to him and for stealing his wife and daughter from him. And after that, he goes down a path of some pretty, pretty bloody murders with a pie shop owner played by Helena Bonham Carter. The first time I saw this movie was actually earlier this year. At my school, we were doing another Sondheim musical, Into the Woods, and I figured, you know, I had nothing to do on one night, so I was like, hey, let's watch Sweeney Todd. Not only have I heard great praise of it, but it fits in with what I'm doing at school right now, Sondheim, so I decided to give it a watch, and holy crap, I loved it. Not only is this just a really amazing musical, but it's also a really great movie. This is one of those movies where the director perfectly fits in with it. Tim Burton's dark, kind of gloomy style perfectly matches in with the movie, with how the characters look, their makeup, outfit, hair, and just the cinematography as well. Tim Burton really did a great job directing this movie. And yes, there's a scene of color that has to happen in this movie. There's these bright colors, and Tim Burton even does a good job at directing that. Kind of hard to imagine that a Tim Burton movie would have so much color, but here we are. And he also did a really good job at directing the musical scenes, and the actors all did a very good job of performing them, which I was very surprised by, because some of the actors here, like for instance Alan Rickman, I didn't know how Severus Snape was going to actually be at singing, but believe it or not, he was actually pretty good. And also, rest in peace, Alan Rickman. I know it's been a while, but still, it's pretty sad. And even Helena Bonham Carter, not just her singing voice or overall performance surprised me, but also her character surprised me. Obviously, I had not seen the play that this is based on, so I was just going in blind. So I have no idea what this character is going to be all about until there are some things revealed about her that actually made her really intriguing. That's one of the things I love about this movie is that its characters are all very messed up in the head one way or another. Save for Benjamin Barker's daughter and the young sailor who falls in love with her, like I think those are the only two who are sane, pretty much. Because you have Sweeney Todd who wants revenge and slits a bunch of people's throats. You have Alan Rickman who sent Benjamin Barker packing to steal his wife, only for his wife to grow very sick and he falls in love with his daughter. While also having a messed up Helena Bonham Carter character in there, the characters are all very weird in their own right, but it very much so works. And even Sasha Baron Cohen, I didn't know Sasha Baron Cohen was in this movie, and as soon as he popped on screen, I was laughing, and I had a very good time with this character, even though he wasn't in it a whole lot, literally, like, I'd say, like, 10 minutes tops, he was still very good. And I haven't mentioned him yet because I've been saving him up, Johnny Depp as Sweeney Todd. He was excellent as this character. Honestly, a lot of people will bring up his best performances, either Edward Scissorhands or Captain Jack Sparrow, but Sweeney Todd, I don't think that should be ignored at all. And I'm not saying that's my favorite character that he's done, but Johnny Depp still did an excellent job playing this guy. A problem I've noticed in Johnny Depp's career is that even though there are some movies he's in where he's not playing Captain Jack Sparrow, he's still in some way playing Captain Jack Sparrow. But this wasn't like that at all. Johnny Depp felt like he was completely taking on this brand new character, not bringing in Captain Jack. His performance felt genuine to the Sweeney Todd character, and his singing I already knew he could sing because I'd seen Into the Woods beforehand, but he has a lot more moments to shine as far as singing goes in this movie, and by God, he was excellent. And apparently this was like a big surprise when the movie came out because Johnny Depp did sing in another movie, I think it's called Cry Baby, but that wasn't actually Johnny Depp's voice, it was someone dubbing over him, so I guess people were a little concerned when he was cast in a musical, but then after the movie came out, he pretty much shut everyone up, improving that he's actually really great at singing. And I've been talking a lot about the musical numbers, they are all very good. Sondheim is a very, 
very good lyricist, and listening to the actors sing their songs, I can only imagine that it must have been just a little bit difficult for them because some notes would carry on longer and longer without taking a moment to breathe. Or as far as Sacha Baron Cohen's song, his song would go so fast that he has to keep up with the lyrics. But as I mentioned, they all did a very good job. The songs were very mesmerizing to listen to. There's especially one song sequence that I loved, where you have the young sailor singing about his love for Joanna, Benjamin Barker's daughter, then you have Sweeney Todd singing about how he loves his daughter and wants to be reunited. But while he's doing that, he's singing and slitting people's throats that are in his chair. That's kind of messed up, because you hear the weird cutting of the throat sound effects and the blood squirting out. It's very, it's very weird. It was very disturbing, but at the same time, very mesmerizing, because the singing's really good. <laughs> I do have one problem with this movie, and it's that the young sailor and Joanna, Benjamin Barker's daughter, I didn't really feel like their characters had much of a close near the ending of the movie. I wish that there was like at least like maybe one or two more minutes of the movie to kind of show what was happening with them. Because at the end of the movie, it feels at first like everything has concluded, but then I thought, oh wait, what about that? That feels completely unresolved. I was actually expecting a moment where Sweeney Todd and Joanna actually reunite as father and daughter, but they kind of do it, but it's not really in the most satisfying way. But in the end, I actually really love this movie. In my opinion, this is one of Tim Burton's best movies. I know a lot of people aren't necessarily big fans of Tim Burton, especially maybe with some of his latest work, but I hope more people check out this movie, especially since it's almost Halloween. This is a very freaky movie to watch near that time. I'm gonna give Sweeney Todd an A-. I adore this movie, not just as a musical, but also just as a movie in general. The story's very interesting, the songs are mesmerizing to listen to, and the performances are all super awesome. But if you have seen Sweeney Todd, leave in the comments below what did you think of it, and thank you once again, Tony, for having me on your channel. But now I'm gonna send it right back to you. Take it away. Thank you so much, Jackson Fulcher, for reviewing Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd is an absolutely great movie. I really adored per Sweeney Todd personally. I think this is a wonderful addition to the musical genre. And if you guys know me, I love the musical genre. Personally, just one of my favorite genres when it comes to movies. And Sweeney Todd, it, it definitely fits that category of such great and wonderful musicals. Well, I wouldn't say this movie is exactly wonderful, but just wonderful in the case that it's a fitting addition to all those other great musical movies out there. But no, uh, wonderful does not describe this movie as far as this tone goes, and it is directed by Tim Burton, so that shouldn't be too much of a surprise when you hear that but it is a very depressing film. It is based off of the musical. And the musical, of course, for what I hear, isn't exactly the most happiest thing. So I think for Tim Burton to take on a project like this, it is definitely very fitting. Tim Burton's very moody style definitely fits um, the very depressing tone that Sweeney Todd is going for and it definitely works i can't see any other director's style for this kind of material honestly fitting better than tim burton tim burton was the right choice and he did an absolutely amazing job directing this film he does a really great job of making you feel like you're in this very depressing world you know you're following the story of benjamin barker or sweeney todd played so wonderfully by johnny depp and that's something i have to say the performances are absolutely great in this film but my goodness johnny depp gave it his all in this film he gave one of the best performances of his entire career johnny depp was 100 percent into his character you can totally tell he was absolutely lost in this role and he was just so amazing and it's no wonder why he got nominated for an oscar with this film because he truly was just so extraordinary in this movie and his singing in the film is also so beautiful he actually sang in this film, and you could clearly see it. You are convinced that he's actually singing, nothing that's dubbing or auto-tune, nothing like that. Uh, he did it all himself, and he did a very stellar job singing in this film. And that same thing goes to everyone. But as far as other performances go, Helena Bonham Carter as Mrs. Levette, she's absolutely great in this film. I also thought that Alan Rickman as Judge Turpin, I thought Turpin, I thought he was also truly great in this film, which is no surprise because Alan Rickman just 
man, he's always so committed in his movies. Timothy Spall, Sasha Baron Cohen, surprisingly really good here because I'm not a fan of Sasha Baron Cohen personally. And even though he's not in this film that much, I actually really liked him for the screen time that he had. Um, Jamie Campbell Bauer as Anthony the Sailor, he was really great. Jamie Weisner, I believe that's how you pronounce it, as Joanna, she was really great. Honestly, everyone gives really great performances in this film. Everyone feels absolutely lost in their roles. And you can clearly see it when it comes to Sweeney Todd. The cinematography, oh my goodness, is absolutely gorgeous to look at. The detail in the color palettes, how dark and gloomy it is. It is not a very sunshine world, definitely. There's even one sequence um, dealing with the musical number where you see so much color and it was so cool how it just went from being so gloomy to all of a sudden colorful. And then once that musical number ends, it goes back to being very dim, very cold, very gloomy. And it absolutely worked. And it was truly a work of art from Tim Burton. And the script for this film is truly wonderful. Now, I can't speak because I haven't seen the musical. So, I don't know how exactly, um, how, how much from the musical they have in this film. But I could definitely say as far as the script goes, I can tell that... This writer had a lot of passion for the musical and really want to pay true respect to the source material and that definitely shows with Sweeney Todd. The movie has a great tone to it. The atmosphere that's building is just so captivating to watch and just the singing from everyone is truly mesmerizing. I loved honestly every single musical number in this film. Um, every the Just the singing, the vocal, the lyrics, all of that came together so well. Not a single musical number honestly felt very out of place. It was all there 100% in my opinion. It's very well executed and for a film that's nearly two hours long, I was never bored once. I was honestly captivated by Sweeney Todd from beginning to end. It's very well paced in my opinion. And also, yes, I can see how this ending could divide people because how the movie ends... Yeah, not a very happy ending. And really when the overall movie is not happy, you would think there would be a not so happy ending. So I could see how that could turn off people. Personally, I thought that ending really worked. I thought it worked that it ended at a very um, gloomy note, I, as best I could say that. However, um, I can't go into details why. I do think in a way it is a satisfying ending. Still depressing, but in a weird way it is satisfying. Um, and I can't spoil it, but you guys might know where I'm going with it, um, if you know what I mean. After everything that the characters have gone through, that's the best I could definitely put it with Sweeney Todd. It's just truly a very special musical movie in my opinion. And honestly, there's not really a whole lot of flaws I have with Sweeney Todd. The only problems I did have with it is that there's this subplot with Anthony the Sailor and Joanna. Um, that was a very interesting subplot. I did enjoy that. I just felt like there weren't enough of those scenes with Anthony the Sailor and Joanna. And it does make sense why that subplot is there. I just felt like how they kind of wrap up that subplot, um, it kind of didn't really mesh um, as well as it could have with the, you know, the main plot of the film, you could say. Like, there is... A conclusion but it just I just felt like that they could have explored more into the subplot more of what's been happening to the characters 
and before it led up to where the movie was going from the subplot to the main plot. And I do think the ending was abrupt. Like I said, the movie's ending made sense. I had no problem with the ending. I actually did really like the ending, as weird as that may sound, because it's not a happy ending. But like I said, it worked. I really liked it. But just how it ended and cut to the end credits, it honestly just felt abrupt, in my opinion. But overall, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, is truly an amazing movie. I really adored this movie from its from the singing to the cast with the performances and yes a lot of the movie is singing with just some dialogue here and there like where there's actual talking but it definitely does work in my humble opinion everyone brings it their all Johnny Depp uh, uh, definitely brought his all and he brought one of the most fascinating performances honestly in his entire career Tim Burton's direction is absolutely is absolutely Absolutely stellar and Sweeney Todd absolutely his kind of style fits the kind of material the very mature R rated material and it is bloody I will say that it is a bloody movie it is rated R for a reason but that kind of style Tim Burns known for bringing he definitely brings it but in the more R rated form and it definitely pulled off in my opinion Sweeney Todd I'm gonna give this movie three and a half out of four stars. Guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. And I would also love to thank Jackson Fulcher for coming here to review Sweeney Todd with me. He's a very cool dude, you guys. He has a great channel. He reviews movies. If you guys want to check out his awesome channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!